you. Honourable members, this joint sitting Honourable Members, this joint sitting has been called to choose a person to hold the place in the Senate of the Commonwealth of Australia, rendered vacant by the resignation of former Senator Rachel Seward. Notification of which has been reported to this Parliament by His Excellency the Governor, the Honourable Kim Beasley AC. I now call for nominations to fill the vacancy. <laughs> the Premier. Uh, President, I propose that Dorinda Cox of 14 Harwood Close, Canning Vale, Western Australia, being a person who is eligible to be chosen pursuant to section 15 of the Constitution of the Commonwealth of Australia as amended, be chosen to hold the vacant place in the Senate of the Parliament of the Commonwealth created by the resignation of Senator Rachel Seward. I advise that I have Ms Cox's assurance that if chosen, she is willing to act. President, Madam Speaker, I acknowledge the Wajak people of the Noongar Nation, the traditional owners of the land we meet upon today. I pay my respects to their elders, past, present and emerging. I'd like to start by thanking you and the parliamentary staff for arranging today's joint sitting of parliament. Very rarely do both houses of parliament have a joint sitting. That said, however, this is the second joint sitting of the Western Australian Parliament for a Senate vacancy in less than a year. This Senate vacancy has been created by the resignation of Senator Rachel Seward. Rachel was first elected to the Australian Senate in 2004 and was re-elected in 2010 and 2016. During her time in the Senate, Rachel has been an advocate for issues important to many West Australians. Most recently, as the Greens spokesperson for health, mental health, family, ageing and community services and gambling. Rachel's contributions have been many and varied. I'd like to thank Rachel for her contributions and public service to Western Australia in her 16 uh, years in the Senate. And if she's here today, I'm sure we all pass on our regards. Dorinda has, sorry, earlier this month, the Greens WA nominated Dorinda Cox as their replacement candidate in the Senate for Western Australia. Dorinda has a strong knowledge of Western Australia. A Noongar woman with strong links to the southwest of Western Australia, Dorinda was born in Kojana. A former police officer, Dorinda, Dorinda served on Western Australia's front line, commencing as a police cadet at age 17. Dorinda moved into further public service following a decade in the police force, working as a public policy officer, as a strong advocate for Aboriginal businesses and women. Dorinda has over 20 years of experience working at a local, state and federal level in both the government and non-government sectors. An anti-domestic violence campaigner, Dorinda was previously a board director of Our Watch National Primary Prevention for Violence Against Women Foundation. Dorinda is also, sorry, Dorinda has also been a member of the WA Ombudsman's Advisory Committee on Child Death Reviews and Family Violence Homicides the UWA Aboriginal and Community Justice Centre Advisory Group, the expert Indigenous working, Women's Working Group on the Global Treaty on Preventing Violence Against Women in the Every Woman Everywhere campaign, Practitioner Engagement Group member for the Australian National Research Organisation for Women's Safety, and the Victims of Crime Advisory Group to the Western Australian Attorney General. Dorinda's knowledge, passion and first-hand experience across a wide range of areas will be a welcome addition in the Senate and to political de debate across Australia. There are big national conversations underway around these issues. More first-hand experience amongst the participants in the Senate can only serve to improve them. The Senate is a very important Australian institution. It is the state's house existing to represent the interests of all West Australians. 
an important enduring legacy of the agreement of the self-governing colonies to join Federation over a century ago. A senator's electorate is the entire state, from Denmark to Derby and everywhere in between. So no matter where you are in Western Australia, you will be equally represented. I would like to congratulate Ms Cox on her nomination by the WA Greens as their Senate candidate. I wish Dorinda all the best in her endeavours in the Australian Senate. The life of a Western Australian federal politician is a very difficult one, I can assure you. Not only is your electorate one of the largest in the world, but the regular travel to Canberra always takes its toll. <laughs> I am sure you are ready for that, Dorinda. Nevertheless, I am sure that Dorinda will rise to the challenge, serve the people of Western Australia and represent their interests in Canberra with distinction. Congratulations, <coughs> Senator Cox, to you, your family and supporters. I give the call to the Leader of the Opposition. Thank you, Madam President. I rise to speak on behalf of the Opposition and second the nomination put forward by the Premier. I acknowledge the Wadjuk people of the Noongar Nation, the traditional owners on the land on which we meet, and pay my respects to leaders past, present and future. I congratulate Ms Dorinda Cox on her impending ascension to the Senate as a representative for all West Australians. Irrespective of political persuasion, the role of a senator is significant. You go forth with the weight of expectation of representing our whole state in a parliament that has some significant challenges to navigate for a nation in the midst of a global pandemic. Before going any further, I pause to acknowledge the 16 years of service of Senator Rachel Seawitt, who is vacating the role since taking it on in 2004. Rachel leaves the parliament with a reputation of being a hard worker, fierce, diligent and dedicated to the causes and people she fought for over this period, and we wish Ms Seawitt the very best for the next stage of her career and life. Ms Cox will now step into the role, bringing with her experience as a former police officer, anti-domestic violence advocate, small businesswoman and experienced board member on organisations that champion the critical issues of Aboriginal justice and women's safety. Each of the 2.67 million West Australians look to our senators to advocate for these and other issues that will set our state and nation on track for a strong, compassionate and prosperous future. I note that Ms Cox joined the WA Police as a cadet at the age of 17 and spent much of her career in Kalgoorlie. I have no doubt this will have equipped her well for the robust nature of federal parliament and the task ahead, noting that it is important to remain connected to those people you seek to represent even in the distant halls of Canberra, and that is now more important than ever. It is indeed an auspicious day as you take your place as a female Aboriginal senator and a welcome addition to our nation's parliament. It is one step forward toward greater diversity to reflect the people and cultures that make up our great nation in this decision-making body. On behalf of the state's opposition, we endorse this nomination and, and second the motion put by the parliament and wish Ms Cox the very best as she steps into the federal parliament to represent our great state of Western Australia. Does any other member wish to make a statement? The honourable member, you may wish to come to the table of the parliament. The Honourable Dr Brad Pettit. Thank you, President. First and foremost, I would also like to acknowledge that we are meeting today on Wajak Noongar and pay my respects to Elders past and present. I'm always pleased that in both houses we start off each day with an acknowledgement of country, but it feels today like a particularly important time to remind ourselves that we live and work on land that was stolen and that First Nations people have cared for this place for tens of thousands of years. Today I'm so proud to and honoured to be speaking in support of my friend and colleague Dorinda Cox, a, a Yamaji Wununga woman. She, comes to, she, she becomes the first Aboriginal woman from Dubrae to hold a seat in the Australian Senate. Dorinda has some very big shoes to fill after Rachel Cox, after Rachel Seawitz, uh, impressive 16 years in the Senate, and I um, thank both the Premier and the Leader of the Opposition for their acknowledgements of 
of Senator Sisiewit. Um, she's in quarantine. That's why she can't be here today. So, uh, but I'm sure she is watching and um, would have appreciated both of your comments. I've no doubt that Dorinda will carry on the legacy of Rachel's work as well as bringing her own expertise into the Australian Parliament. Um, both the Premier and the Leader of the Opposition, I think, covered really well um, the extraordinary experience that Senator Cox has had. So I won't repeat those uh, other than, than, than to say I think we can all agree that Dorinda has a very impressive list of achievements and has made significant contributions to both the state and federal policies throughout her work as a domestic violence, child protection and Aboriginal justice campaigner. Long story short is that Dorinda is a passionate social justice advocate who has worked tirelessly to bring community voices to the foreground of decision making for many, many years now. Today is an historic moment for Western Australia and a historic moment for the Greens, as the party who has long fought for First Nations issues and centred First Nations voices at the heart of our movement. In fact, back in 1990, the Greens were the first to have an Aboriginal woman on the Senate ticket. That was Gladys Yarren, who ran alongside Joe Valentine and Christopher Shamrett, who I know are both here today as well. And now, a bit over 30 years later, I'm pleased to see that we will have the first Aboriginal woman from WA in our Senate. My Greens colleague and former member in this place, Alison Zavon, who is a long-time friend and supporter of Trinda, asked me to share some of her thoughts in the chamber today. It is with enormous delight that today I get to witness the beginning of a, of a parliamentary con contribution from my dear friend and colleague, Dorinda Cox. Much is going to be made about the importance and significance of having the first Aboriginal woman senator from WA finally join the federal parliament, and is, it is significant and long overdue. Dorinda will bring the essential First Nations perspective to our parliament. I know this means a lot for, a, for the great many people, and in particular our First Nations people, who have long remained unrepresented in our parliaments. For the Greens, having Dorinda join Victorian Senator Lydia Thorpe is a great source of joy and hope that we will be continuing a journey together as Australians towards reconciliation and treaty. But I also want to ensure that it is recognised that, in addition, Dorinda brings a significant and impressive degree of life experience, knowledge and credibility to her new role as a Senator for Western Australia. Those who have had the privilege of undertaking parliamentary representation are all too familiar with the importance of having both a broad experience of life and a broad understanding of the complexities of people's lives within the communities we are called to serve. Dorinda has this necessary breadth of experience and understanding with a comprehensive understanding of lived experience in some of the most vulnerable in our community. Dorinda understands the impacts of homelessness and the impacts of trauma and poverty pl plays on matters of mental health. The overrepresentation of first people in our prison systems, the challenge within our justice system, these are many of the complex issues of our time. And today we bring someone to our federal parliament with a deep understanding of these issues and the sectors that attempt to address them. Dorinda will also prove to be a powerful voice for the protection of country. As a First Nations woman, Dorinda's connection with land ensures that the protection of our environment will be at the heart of her advocacy and the urgent need to address those global threats to our world, such as the impacts of climate change. The protection of culture, of Aboriginal sacred sites, will receive the attention it deserves. Dorinda is aware she's, she's stepping into big shoes, those of Senator Rachel Seward, but it's fitting that following the years of attempting to receive justice for First Nations people, that Rachel's successor is now herself an Aboriginal woman. <coughs> Dorinda, my friend, I'm so proud of you for putting your name forward to represent the people of WA and to ensure that there is a voice for justice and for the earth. I know you'll do a wonderful job and I'm enormously proud of you. Thank you, Alison, for those words. Um, and the reality is, that, as Alison said, we still have much work to do to address the, the systems that, that continue to fail First Nations people and deepen inequalities in both Western Australia and at a federal level. Having Dorinda as a strong voice in the Senate puts Australia on the right pathway to ensuring that these truth-telling and treaties processes are set up to reflect what First Nations people want in order to create a future that works for all of us and doesn't leave any of us behind. It's critical that our parliaments reflect the communities they're meant to, meant to represent. So today is a tremendously important move in the right direction. And before closing, I'd just like to add some personal reflections. Dorinda, it's, I've had the joy of getting to know you the last, last few years and I've been deeply impressed, not just by your incredible work ethic, but also by your calm professionalism and inclusiveness that you brought to the role. I know you've worked 
for a long time to this day, sacrificing time with your loved ones as you travelled all around this state, this country, and in fact around the world, searching for better outcomes for other people. And I want to thank, thank you for this, for today's important acknowledgement of this sacrifice. A, a celebration of what you have achieved and what you will achieve <coughs> as you lead in furthering the many changes that this nation need, needs. I look forward to working with you in your new role. So in closing, I am proud to bear witness to this moment and to be part of the Greens movement that will make history as we send the first Aboriginal woman from WA to the Australian Senate. Thank you. Does any other member wish to speak to the nomination? Are there any further nominations? There being no other nominations, I declare Dorinda Cox of 14 Harwood Close, Canning Vale, Western Australia, the person chosen to hold the place vacated by former Senator Rachel Seawitt. Members, please join me in congratulating Senator-elect Dorinda Cox, who is present in the President's Gallery today with her family, friends and guests. Members, the joint sitting is now concluded.